Hi, this is Neil Matthews from WPDo.com and in this video post I want to talk about how you can track the performance of your banner ads using Google Analytics. Now on my site I have a number of banner ads set up. I've got one here and what this banner ad links to is my hire me page. So anyone clicking on there, let's just click on that to show you what it does, goes to my WordPress technical support page where people can request a quote from me. jump back so I have one here and I also have one right at the bottom of my, all my single posts here now previously I had no idea if anybody was clicking on these banner ads so what I wanted to do was set up some sort of system that allowed me to track clicks perhaps I could track or split test different banners to see which performs best or perhaps move the position all those kind of things now there are plugins to do this, but I use Google Analytics to track all my other events in WordPress. So I wanted to know if there's a way I could set up the banner code to integrate with Google Analytics. And luckily I found that there is a way to do this using something called Google Analytics events. So in this post, I'm going to take you through setting up and configuring your site so that you can track clicks on various banners. These don't have to be internal banners, so if you've got affiliate links, uh, banners, or even just text links, you can do exactly the same using the techniques I'm about to show you. So let's jump over to the back end of my site first of all. First thing to do, configure Google Analytics to work with your WordPress site if you haven't got it already. I like to use a plugin for this. Let's have a look at the plugins. And it's this Google Analytics for WordPress plugin that I like to use. I'll include a link below this video so you can download it. Once you've installed it, under settings, you've got Google Analytics and you link to your, your profile. Once that's all up and running, you can then start configuring your banner links. So in appearance widgets, let's go to my single post sidebar and it's this text widget here that I've clicked in. This is the important information here. Might be a little bit difficult to see, so I've put it into a Word document and I've increased the font size. So what we're saying is we've set up a link to that page, but we've also added this on-click information, which is the stuff that's sent to Google. So what I've seen is when this link is clicked, run this particular script, GA push, track events, and send back this information. First bit of information, CTA is the group name. You can create whatever group name you want. I've set up a group called CTA or call to action. So these are my various call to actions on my site. And then you set a type of event. Again, this can be anything you want. I've set this to be a click, but if you do the same thing for a download link, you could set the event type to download. Uh, anything you want, these are just a series of labels to help organize the events in your Google Analytics dashboard. Then lastly, I've given it a unique label. So I've said it's a sidebar ad. So I've got a number of these set up already. So I've got a sidebar ad. I've got, um, I think it's called footer banner ad. And another one whose name escapes me for the moment. Or all you need to take away from it is that this link is then put into a group in, in your Google Analytics account called CTA, the event type is a click, and it gives you the name of the ad. Let's just go back to my site. So whenever I click on there now, it records the event and pushes that into my Google Analytics account. Let's jump over to that now and see what kind of information I can get out of that. So log into your account, go to content, events, and overview. And we can see the various event categories that have happened on my site. There's the CTA that I've set up. Let's click on that. If I then click on, well, sorry, let me step back. I've had four events and one unique event. So this is all the testing I did when I set this up. So these are the 
metrics from the previous day so I haven't checked that if it's actually working yet so let's have a look at event actions we have click so I've had other ones like downloads um, opt-in email sign up we could create a series of actions down here so let's click on the actions and that then drills down into various events I've set up so there's sidebar footer etc so that enables me to see which of my ads are performing best. So from the test I was doing yesterday, I could guess that the footer is doing better than the sidebar. And perhaps I want to change the sidebar banner ad. I want to use a different logo, make it more prominent, put it in a different position. These are all the different things we can test. So that gives me a way to split test and know exactly how my banner ads are performing. I hope that helps. Got any questions? Ask them in the comments below this video. It's been Neil Matthews. Bye for now.